Hello everyone. Today you will see how to download a Kill software to run program for H051. So we have the uh, um, product link for Kill. Kill uh, com slash download slash product. In that you will need to choose C51 version 9.60a. So in that uh, C51 we have the facilities to run program for H051. After clicking the C51 uh, setup file, they will ask me, you can give the any name. Your email ID. Enter the company name and the job title. And uh, choose the country. And then enter your phone number. Uh, this will uh, open new window. In that, uh, you have the option to download the scale um, software C51 version 9.60a.exe. Click that file. This will uh, download a setup file for C51. Uh, it is a file to run, to run software for Keel. So after downloading the file, go to that location. And uh, uh, I already downloaded the, this software in my laptop. So I, didn't, I, I don't want to you know, download one more time. I'll just cancel it. Uh, go to the location, download, downloads. Photo downloads. And the search with the name count C51. You will again have the setup file for key. Just double click the file, setup file. This will open a new window to install a software for key. Click yes. This will ask uh, click uh, a window with the welcome to key uh, micro versions. Um, this window will uh, help you to uh, create a product for key to install your software. Click next and uh, click the licenses and then click. I agree to all the terms of the uh, proceeding license agreement. And then click next. Choose the folder where you want to install a key. I choose C drive. Enter. Company name. And the key name. Next, this will install a uh, uh, software for key. Click 
it will take some seven minutes so we will start. Finish. And installation completed. Now we will see uh, how to open it, uh, how to uh, take for the errors. Uh, after installing the file, you will get the shortcut file. See, uh, micro version file. We will see uh, how to open the team software, how to uh, run the program, and how to check for the errors. Here we have one, it will open the window here for kit. In that we have the options, file, edit, view, project, flash, debug, peripherals, tools, SVCS, windows, help. In that uh, first initially you will need to choose project. New micro version project. I will turn one more time. Go to project, new uh, micro version project. With that, uh, the, in that, you will need to uh, select a folder where you want to uh, store your uh, files. Create, uh, choose a new folder, create a new folder. In that, you will assign the name, key. So in, inside the key folder, you will store your folders. Okay. Just click, uh, open the folder. And uh, select the name of your file. Uh, for example, uh, I am going to check the program for keyboard interface. I give the file name as keyboard. Interfacing. Okay. After giving the name, click save. I created a folder for my program. Okay. This will open your own window. Select your device for target program. For example, I want to run a uh, program for 8051 keyboard interfacing. For that, I need a 8051 controller. Next, Bar, choose AP. AT eight nine C five. Okay, choose that one. A AT eight nine C five one. Uh, this is the device. Uh, we want to work for 8051. Choose that uh, this device 8889C51 to run your program to check for the errors. Uh, for 8051 program, choose 8889C51 device and click yes. Here, uh, there is a creation of source group target as well as source group. Okay, so now we will see how to open a new file. Uh, to type program and to check for the errors. Go to the file and uh, click new. This is the window. Uh, we will going to type programs and also for uh, and also to check for the errors. I already have a program in my laptop uh, for keyboard interfacing. Uh, this is the program I want to run and also to check for the errors. Okay, I copied the uh, program code.
and I paste uh, and paste these programs in Keel Builder. And this is the program I used for keyboard interfacing. After uh, typed all the uh, instructions for keyboard interfacing, then go go for uh, then uh, save the file. Okay, get that. Here there is an option to save the file. Click save. In that, in that, uh, assign the name of a uh, name for your uh, program code. Here the program I assign this as a keyboard. I simply type it as key board, key B. Uh, the, the extension you want to save this name is a ASM. Because the, pro the, the program we write here is an assembly language code program. Okay, so in order to run a program code, we will need to save the file with the extension name .asm. Stands for assembly uh, assembly language program. This way, after running the program, you will get a machine code. That's why ASM assembly to machine language code. For that, you will need to save the program file in uh, with the file name .asm and click save. Uh, okay, the program. Is finished. We have successfully saved the file. Now uh, we want to um, do the option. We, we will need to configure the target option. Okay. For example, we, we must need to choose the clock frequency and uh, option to enable the X file creation. For that, you will need to choose this icon. Conf option for target. Configure target option. Just click that one. And you have the window like this option for target. In that, uh, choose the next slide frequency that is internal clock frequency for 805. So I assign the clock frequency as 11.058. Yeah, this is the clock frequency we, we use normally to get the accurate portrait. Okay. For that, uh, in the, the target, choose the x slide frequency as 11.059 MHz. And after that, you will need to go to the output, output here, output icon, choose create X file. So after running the program, assembly language code, if you enable the uh, create X file icon, this will create the X file, uh, uh, X file uh, for, uh, uh, for to run the, to simulate the program for 40 years. For graphically, we can able to run the program for uh, checking the outputs. This, this option will help you to create X file. So after uh, choosing the create X file, uh, then go for the device. Device, choose AP 89C51. Okay, I want to do AP 89C51. Then click OK. Uh, now the uh, work for choosing the target device is finished. Then we will need to add this program. Okay, add this program in source group file. For that, choose uh, source group one. I click the folder and add add existing file to group source group one. We will need to add the program code in source group one for debugging. Okay, choose keyboard.asm file. The, uh, the file we stored uh, two minutes before. Uh, choose tb.asm and click add. Okay, and close the file folder. Inside the source group, the, the program code is added. Just click one more time and uh, make sure that you select the proper clock frequency of level point zero five nine. Now put with uh, enable the create x file option and device as ap 89 c and click OK. Then uh, go for this icon, left hand side top corner. Choose the translation. The program is running. Here uh, the it is showing some errors. One errors and one warning. Mm-hmm. 
screen here. After translating, you will get zero errors, zero warnings. I cleared all the errors. Then go for uh, build. After building, it will show zero errors, three warnings. There is no problem for warnings. Just check only for the errors. There is no errors here. Then click rebuild. Uh, it is showing zero error in the bottom. Okay. Uh, now we will check uh, how to uh, check for the X-ray. The program is successfully simulated. There is no error in it. Now we will see how uh, how to check for the X-ray. This X-ray uh, is useful when we uh, use Proteus software for uh, graphical interfacing the controller with the keyboard and check for the outputs. So now we will see the steps how to check for the X-ray. Uh, go to the folder where you uh, where we want uh, where we already created a folder for key. Okay, inside the key folder we have we uh, we choose uh, I choose here uh, path location as documents. Inside the documents I use the eight zero five one program. Inside we, inside we have. I created a file with the key, key folder. Inside that, I here you have program for keyboard.asm. In order to check the X file, you, you will need to go to the objects. Objects. Inside that, you have the X file. See the X file, type as X file. Uh, this is the X file. Inside, we have the machine level code. Run program. This is the machine level code. It is uh, uh, understandable by the controller. Uh, it is not even understandable. It is machine understandable. So after running the assembly language code, this will create one X file. This X file will contain the machine language codes. Uh, while uh, while running the Proteus software, this X file is very much useful uh, to check the operations of keyboard. I uh, hope you understand how to run programs and how to check for the errors in key. And also how to create a X file. Uh, thank you everyone. Uh, if you have any queries, uh, kindly post comments in the chat box.